You're at home. We have more rain headed our way as well. So let's get over right over to Lisa and find out what she's looking at. Yeah, we have an atmospheric river headed our way here. David, of course, good evening to you at home. We're starting to see the beginning stages of this setup, but right now very, very light. Nothing of concern yet and that weather uh, alert day goes into effect officially tomorrow. We'll talk about why in just a second, but right now just seeing that light rain kind of rolling through the area. Temperatures overall pretty mild, but a little chilly for some of us with them falling in the upper 40s. Everett down to Tacoma, Shelton, Olympia 49 degrees, JBLM right around 48 degrees and that temperature is going to continue to remain pretty much right there. Dropping slightly for a lot of us by tomorrow morning, getting you out the door. It is going to be a little breeze breezy out there and we are expecting rain all across the area, probably a little lighter across parts of the South Sound until that ramps up more so in the afternoon. And speaking of tomorrow, we do have that flood watch that goes into effect highlighted here from Wacom all the way across Grays Harbor County. We're looking at that threat for flooding because we are expecting up to around three inches and we might even exceed that for the Cascades and the Olympics. So we'll have to watch out for that flooding when it comes to the rivers more so tomorrow evening even rolling over into Friday morning. Similar conditions out across eastern uh, the eastern side of the mountains there over in the Cascades, but we have to watch out for mudslides just because of the recent fires that took place over the summer. We also have that river of, of uh, excuse me, flood warning in effect right now for parts of Mason County. This is receding. However, with the new amounts of rain expected, we're talking about one to three, one to two inches. We are expecting that to rise right back up into its moderate flood stage. So that again will continue and be ongoing. Now, as we fast forward tomorrow morning, right around a seven o'clock, we are going to see that nice steady stream of rain really impacting Western Washington, right? It looks like the setup now moving up a little bit further towards the north, impacting areas like Tulalip, Oak Harbor, Everett, Linwood, but it's going to be very light across the lowlands. You're going to notice those heavier amounts taking place across the Olympics over in the Cascades. As we fast forward throughout the morning, going to around 12, two o'clock, it works its way down south. So still light for most of us across the lowlands, but not rolling out some of that moderate rain as that rain shadow kind of breaks a little bit, especially across the South Sound. So Kitsap County over in a Pierce County, Gig Harbor and even over in a Shelton Mason County. That's where we're going to start to see those heavy rain amounts picking up in the afternoon hours, continuing across parts of the Cascades and hitting the foothills from Carnation, North Bend all the way to Enumclaw time check there right around 5 530. So on that commute home, yeah, we're going to continue with that light steady rain ongoing, but a little bit heavier as we push over into the foothills. Wallop, DuPont, DuPont over uh over across parts of the Cascades and hitting parts of the Chehalis River Valley there. Now, as we take a look into our rain totals tomorrow, this could range from around an inch and a half to around 2.25 inches. Now, the record for tomorrow is sitting right around an inch and a half. So it looks like we could see record breaking rain totals happening with this new system that rolls through on top of it being a little windy. So as we fast forward tomorrow morning, probably after 8 a.m., this is when we could see those winds gusting up to around 35 to 40 miles an hour. So yes, that's going to be a little windy for a lot of us with that ongoing rain. Overall, this is going to affect you tomorrow. But the good news is take a look at that temperature. 62 degrees. We are going to have a warm front that pushes through at the surface. That's what's going to really give us that warm air advection. But it doesn't last long because we get a cold front right after this clears up. That cools us down pretty significantly. But the good news is we do clear out just in time for Halloween with overnight lows dropping into the 30s. And that is a look what we can expect.